Hi, hello, welcome to a new video. In this video, I will mention this article on management of antipsychotic related sexual dis dysfunction. Um, so, as you know, antipsychotics are commonly associated with dysfunction, and um, patients have to use it for a uh, very long time. So, that's why it's important to mention the side effects and um, how to control the or minimize the side effects because it also may impact their um, interest in treatment because if there are some relevant side effects they may quit the medicine and think that the drugs damage them and then harm them so they will not trust their doctors uh, anyway Sexual dysfunction is one of the most frequently occurring side effects of antipsychotics, uh, impacting both quality of life and adherence to treatment, as I mentioned before. Despite this, limited evidence-based gu guidance on treatment options is available. So they mentioned the method here. So it's a systematic review, claimed to be. And um, six... Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I think it is randomized controlled trials were identified, all of which investigated different interventions. Hence, it wasn't possible to synthes synthesize the data quantitatively. Um, results were overall limited by small sample size, brief treatment duration, because I think there are few patients, and the potential for bias, because if they ask opinion of patients, they they may not be that uh, I don't know trustable. And two studies, uh, one assessing adjunctive the the treatments, reported in a reduction in antipsychotic related uh, sexual dysfunction. Okay. Due to the lack of high quality data, no clinical recommendations can be made. Okay, so this is um, conclusion here. Our findings highlight the paucity of high quality research in this area and um, uh, are difficult to recruit participants with sexual dysfunction. Um, so I think there is no clear uh, conclusion in this study so maybe this one gives more this paragraph gives more information prolactin is not a reliable marker for sexual dysfunction so it's uh, related to hormones and this review focused its inclusion criteria on participants presenting with sexual dysfunction rather than with hyperprolactinemia uh, so which should give us recommendation uh, or more validity. I think their psychology is also m important and the um, anyway, so I think this study is worth to uh, check again and without reading the full article it's hard to understand and have insights about it. And thanks for watching this video. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye bye.